Hello friends! Today's reading is another modified version of the Seven Days Ahead spread. This one is an eight card version where in addition to one card for each day of the week, there is the next card, the eighth card, looking forward beyond the week. This spread is for when you have a busy week planned where the activities of each day lead into and build upon one another. And it's a week that you anticipate will have far-reaching consequences. So we're going to get right into it. Card number one corresponds to Sunday. The goal for Sunday is to set forth your plan, strategize for the rest of the week. Card number two, Monday. Anticipating, planning for the responses of others. Card number three, Tuesday. It's now actually time to put that plan into action. Card number four, double checking your details and delegating. Card number five corresponds to Thursday and adapting your strategies, taking the lead. Card number six corresponds to Friday. What compromises or changes need to be made to complete this project? Card number seven is Saturday. Reassess what worked well, what should be left behind. And card number eight, based off of the results of this week, how will this affect the month afterwards? What successes will be brought forward? What failures will need to be re-examined? So we're going to go ahead and shuffle up and see what the cards have to tell us. We are once again going to be using the Supernatural Tarot for this demonstration. We will be using the full deck. And this is a very simple spread. It's just a straight line. Card one all the way down to card eight. So card one. They're sticking. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think those are all in screen. No. squish them all in not quite so number eight so that it's still visible we will squish down there a little bit okay card number one corresponding to Sunday when you are planning we have the ace of goblets the ace of goblets represents the beginning of a new relationship based on the context of this spread I would say a business relationship Continue to foster that positive interaction with the individual and focus on strengthening the bonds of trust and friendship you have with them. Card number two, Monday. Anticipating other people's reactions. We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is another card about relationships. In this case, it's typically involving more than just two people, usually groups of three or more. Because it's in the upright position, it implies that you're going to have positive reactions to your plan. You're not going to face much opposition with it, at least not from your coworkers and the people who are working on it with you. Card number three, Tuesday, putting your plan into action. We have the 10 of blades reversed. In the supernatural tarot deck, it is represented by the falling into the cage of Lucifer. This typically would indicate that there are going to be a lot of twists and turns, there is going to be a lot of opposition. It is reversed. You will find the way out, but you're going to only find the way out by going through. Be prepared for unexpected challenges. Card number four, Wednesday. We have the Six of Pentacles reversed. It corresponds to the double-checking details. The Six of Pentacles is a card about finances. The details you should be double-checking is your cash flow. Are all of your payments up to date? Has everyone actually paid you for the work you have done thus far. Keep an eye on that. Card number five is the Ten of Bones. In this case, represented by the character Castiel at a very specific point in the series. This is after the apocalypse has been overcome 
and there's now a civil war in heaven, and Castiel has to decide what he's going to do. This card represents choosing your burdens. Just because a burden is placed in front of you does not mean it is yours to pick up. In relationship to the theme of this reading, make sure you actually delegate things. Make sure that what you are focusing on are the things that only you can do. If it's something someone else in your company can do, if you have someone else on your team who specializes in that task, hand it over. Let them do it. Do not make the mistake of trying to micromanage. That is going to put serious setbacks on your project. Card number six, Friday. Making compromises. We have the two of pentacles. This card is depicting uh, Henry Winchester, the main character's grandfather, specifically one who was pulled out of time and had to make a difficult decision of whether he would remain in what was his future or go back into the past. Ultimately, he chose to go back where he belonged in the past. It is about balance. So on Friday, where you need to think about your compromises, how are we going to make this function? How are we going to get the project finished? What are the things that absolutely cannot be ignored? You got to prioritize them. Wish list items, don't worry so much. Make sure that you actually deliver what functions, not what's pretty. Card number seven corresponds to Saturday. Looking back at the week, seeing what worked, what didn't, what things you can carry forward, and what things, what ideas should be abandoned. We have the Queen of Blades, Naomi, uh, the character Naomi from Supernatural. She is one of the angels who is ruthless in pursuing her goals. She has no problem abandoning the things that do not work. This is saying don't hang on to those little darlings. Everyone has these, these great ideas. In a writing class, it was taught to me as these little darlings, these perfect little story ideas that don't actually fit the story. You've got to cut them out of the narrative and let them sit. It is okay to remove the non-functional parts of your project, even if they are such a sweet, cool, brilliant idea. If it doesn't work in time for it to be delivered, you got to just pull it. And that's okay. Deliver a functional project. Card number eight. What can be, how will this week affect the month ahead? We have Justice Reversed. Justice is being represented by Donna Hanscom. She is a sheriff in the show. One of her major plot lines is that she was not pr treated particularly well by her husband. And because he undermined her so much, she doesn't have an accurate view of her own self-worth, of her own value. That is what the reversed aspect of this card is talking about. Going back through the rest of the cards of this week, don't sell yourself short. Make sure you're actually getting paid for the work you're doing. There is some sort of imbalance in your relationships pertaining to this project. Who's dragging their feet because they don't respect your time? Enforce your contracts. It is not it being a bad person to say, we had a contract. There are consequences to not completing a contract on time. That is not you being bad. That is not you being mean. That is you being just. As always, this was just a demonstration of how I would interpret these cards if I had a client in front of me and these were what showed up. Hopefully it still provided some benefit to you as a viewer. As a quick reminder, there are now some links in the descriptions to my videos. One for a Discord server. It's still pretty quiet, but we will see how quickly our community builds. Two, there is a link to my personal website where you can hire me to do readings or Reiki or other metaphysical services for you. And three, there is a buy me a coffee link. So if you feel like wanting to give me a tip for the videos I've been making, that's where you can do it. As always, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.